zero point six. So that got your path on the zero line. Hey guys, today's video is coming at you from the Minimal Golf Studio down in Redondo Beach where my buddy Sam made me my super cool new Minimal Golf Bag with MSE TV on the side. So guys, I am working on my Lee Trevino swing. This is something really interesting. It's taking me down a road and I'm learning some really crazy kind of stuff. I think it's helping me get some more forward shaft lean, which is pretty interesting. The feeling is greater compression, but my gosh, this is uh, this is pretty interesting. And this is the very first experiments on the simulator with this new style of swing. And luckily Sam is helping me out. Now the first MSE intensive of this whole year is November 6th and 7th at the Minimal Golf Studio. We'll be using the Unicore system to look at all of our swing numbers. Sam's gonna be there in and out. We're gonna have a big party on Saturday night. So hit me up, Christo, at myswingevolution.com if you would like more details about the upcoming intensive. So check out this video where I'm fooling around with the Lee Trevino style move. A lot of the things that I try and do that have worked for me, like right elbow under to get into lateral side bend, these are things that Lee Trevino did incredibly well. He also swung with a little stronger grip where Mr. Hogan swung with a weaker grip. So I'm just a little bit open. Let's just see what we got here. All right, so that ball came out dead straight. Cool. So here I'm starting off with some pitching wedges. Um, now hitting these little balls about 105, 110 yards just to loosen up. Oh, that's and uh, these first few swings, the ball's coming out pretty straight, which is very encouraging. That's what I like. And the one thing that I notice is as I start to get warmed up, um, I start turning the ball over more. This would uh, tend to be that I'm, I'm, you know, sort of more into out, which is kind of what I'm trying to do. So, I mean, these are just my first swings. You know, now that one's over 100, that's 135 yards. You know, this next swing is 138 yards. And this is a pitching wedge. So what I'm thinking is because of the open stance, I'm actually getting more forward shackling. You know, this one winds up being 141 yards. What's up, man? Hey, AJ, what's up, man? How the bag turn out? Dude, look at this thing. Oh, How sexy geez. is this? Check this out, man. Just going around with a Lee Trevino kind of move today, just, yeah, just for the hell of it, where you open up the body and then swing out to the right. It's a pretty big hook. That was. That's your club? Yeah, that's what I did. Is that an eight iron? Yeah. So this move, it's interesting. I'm cooking the dog snot out of it. I'm hitting it pretty, pretty far. Just something to fool around with because the other day I was telling Sam that I was. I, I had a pretty good round going, and then I'd try and swing harder, and I would block it out to the right. Yeah. And Lee Trevino blocked everything. He just hit the block on purpose. Uh -huh. You know, he had it, he had that thing done. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I can see it work. It can work. You know, it definitely has potential to like. I'm turning it over a lot. Yeah. Right. Well, I I hook everything. That, is that your, your misses or hooks? Yeah, it's just a question of how much. Yeah. But, uh... 
It's not a mile, but it was straight. That was smooth, dude. <laughs> I hooked every ball until he came up. I like it. But, uh... In the out, 4.3, 5.0 open. So that's like a super good ball. It's a really good ball. If what, you were... What do you see? On so if you were... If, so I see your club path was 4 degrees into out, 4.3 degrees into out. Your face angle was 5 degrees open. So that was like a very small fade. It has a small amount of side spin to the right. Okay. If you took your stance line and you adjusted it four or five degrees to the left, now this would be zero. So I need to open it even more for that spot. Uh-huh, you're like, you're like a degree open at a dress, which feels like way open, right? Yeah. But like Torvino was like 20 degrees open. This, uh, this feels insane, but let's go for it. Okay. <laughs> It's crazy, so like that path was, was still into out, but that's probably unconscious. Like you're, you're sort of like knowing things that I've got to do, I've got to swing into out. Uh-huh. But yeah, just, just keep playing with that. You're looking for this number to get to zero, club path to get to zero. Okay. Three is less than it was. Yeah, it was, a, it was a, yeah, an improvement, yeah. So, let's see, I wonder if I move it forward or back in relation to Wow. That was an interesting ball. Must have been healed, huh? It's probably. Yeah, it's wild because you're like when you see it on video, you'll see we can still see your right arm under your left uh -huh. at a dress, which is like draw bias. Yeah. Which we saw from Trevino and Hogan too, but like so if you're here, if you're if you're like my stance line's on this crack, right? Yeah. If your normal swing is in to out, yeah. Five degrees, you've got to shift your whole line five degrees for that when it makes contact to the ball for the club to be on a zero path. So that was three point seven. I'm still not as far as I need to be, so. And it, like, ball position has an impact on that, too. Like, as you move around the yard, like, you know, you know from Hogan, like, as you go from here, let's say this is where you normally are, this is a draw. As you adjust your, if you were just to open up, move the ball back in your stance, it wouldn't do anything. You're just gonna still hit a draw. You have to move radially around the arc, like Hogan said, so you actually need to go like this way. So yeah, I yeah. Think so it places the ball what feels like way forward relative to like a square line, but it's actually just. This feels insane, but let's, let's just see what happens. Zero point six. So that got your path on the zero line. Impact was crappy, but that's interesting. Yeah. So there's a 0.6 clip out. So when I'm, I hit driver with what feels like, I'm like false looks really forward to me, like in front of my left toe, and I, like intend to catch the ball when the club is like going left, uh -huh. but I don't. It's just like because I'm maintaining the angles, the club hasn't flipped and crossed that line, so it. When it catches it, it's basically at zero. But it feels like I'm going, you know, 10 degrees left. Yeah, 0 0.6. I, I, when I did this before, I couldn't do it because the ball didn't go anywhere. Yeah, it's an extremely high launch angle, right? 16.4, it's a lot of backspin. So like every time you make a swing change, I remember when I tried to swing more like Snee, uh -huh. I played a club that looked more like Snee's. Yeah. You know, and Hogan's. Well, I'll compare like my standard Hogan swing where my right foot is closed 
But like I said, when I get stuck, that ball is, ah, yeah. drives me nuts. Let's see. So that ball worked really well because it was healed. Yeah, I caught it deep on the heel, but. Yeah, but there it goes, path 5.1 into out, so that's your. Huh. That's that bonus swing. Interesting. Hi, I'm Christo Garcia, the founder of My Swing Evolution. A few years back, I picked up Ben Hogan's Five Lessons book because I wanted to improve my golf game. Well, my golfing dreams came true. Today, I'm sponsored by the Ben Hogan Golf Company. I've shot under par many times, and I even had the chance to play Ben Hogan in a Golf Channel special. So in this series, I'm gonna take you through the most important lessons that I learned from Ben Hogan's famous book.